How you doing? I want to point out a couple things before I get this video started here. This is the uh, object I'm focused on right here. Although there's another one traveling along with it down over here. And the second object down here doesn't have any rhythm to the uh, strobes to it. So it indicates to me that it's not an aircraft. But uh, this is a solid object of some kind. And uh, you'll see that in the uh, video stills that I'll show you. And then when I show you the uh, photographs I took of it, they're at 268 millimeters and they're all one second uh, each. You'll see a uh, lot of plasma is what it looks like to me uh, being produced by this object. Now this is an infrared uh, video here, so I'll discuss a little bit more about it uh, when this is uh, over with here. Let me show this to you. I am here to discuss the so-called flying saucers. The Air Force interest in this problem has been due to our feeling of an obligation to identify and analyze to the best of our ability anything in the air that may have the possibility of threat or menace to the United States. In pursuit of this obligation since 1947, we have received and analyzed between one and 2,000 reports. We've been able to explain them as uh, hoaxes, as erroneously identified friendly aircraft, as meteorological or electronic phenomena, or as light aberration. With all due respect to the Air Force, I believe that some of them will prove to be of interplanetary origin. During a three-year investigation, I found that many pilots have described objects of substance and high speed. One case, pilots reported their plane was buffeted by an object which passed them at 500 miles an hour. Obviously, this was a solid object, and I believe it was from outer space. Yeah, I think this might have been from some other place also. Now, if you were looking closely at the uh, video, you could see light undulating across the surface of this thing. So this is a physical object of some kind. And you see this uh, variegation in the light here. It's like a lot of other uh, videos and photographs that I've shown you. Whereas this has a, uh, a center core of some kind. And then there's concentric uh, circles that appears to be here. So whatever this is, is uh, it's a physical object. And it's transferring energy across the surface as it goes. Now this is a uh, screen grab of it, although it's kind of blurry. Uh, you can still see that it's a physical object and it's got some kind of construct to it, so rather bizarre if you ask me. You see a uh, set of vertical lines and horizontal lines going across it, so somebody made this for some purpose. And to me it appeared rather large uh, at that distance. Like I said, these uh, photographs here are 268 millimeters, uh, one second apiece, and they're a little shaky because I'm trying to take a still photograph of a moving object while looking through another camera, so sometimes that doesn't always work out real well, but nonetheless, uh, you get the idea here. You can see the uh, plasma is what it appears to be to me uh, being produced when this thing is uh, traveling along, so I think, like I said, that's just on the surface of the object. It's not the object itself uh, that's, you know, plasmic. Uh, I don't know if that's a word or not, but um, nonetheless, uh, this object is producing, you know, quite a bit of plasma. So this right here, uh, accidentally on purpose, kind of got everything, you know, coordinated there in the moving object and the uh, flash uh, pulse of the uh, image or the uh, object in this image. So that worked out all right. That always happened, but. It did that time but uh, anyway let me know what you think and I've got a whole lot I mean a ton more uh, videos and photographs to show you but uh, been dealing with a couple things here lately so it's going to be a while before I can get them to you so anyway take care in the meantime I appreciate you having a look and uh, we'll talk to you later on thanks again